huge, man. Just wait until you guys see this building. We are currently on our way to exploring a gigantic prison in Missouri. Uh, yeah, this is insane. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Just wait until you guys see this building. Ooh, buddy. So like I just said, can't wait to show this to you guys. We don't have a whole lot that we can show at this moment because we can't actually go on the grounds yet, but this is insane that we're standing at what is known at one time as the bloodiest location in the United States of America. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Missouri State Penitentiary here in Jefferson City, Missouri. And this gigantic brick slash stone structure behind us is where we are going to be spending the night tonight exploring and seeing what kind of weird phenomenon happens around us as we film. So what you see right now is simply just the walls. The fact that these walls held some of the world's most dangerous, evil, violent people inside for decades that is now going to be keeping us inside later on tonight is insane. Don't mind all those voices. None of them matter. None of them matter because I haven't, I haven't uh, been included in the group yet. So we're here on It's All Me. I'm completely by myself here in Missouri. Nobody else of any kind of importance is here. Seth is still in New York. I don't know why I'm here by myself, but I'm gonna go sit in a prison by myself entirely alone tonight. You heard it. Nobody yep. else. Everybody heard it. Right nobody there. else it, is it, gonna it, be it, with it, me it, at it, all. It, and uh, that's a lie because Here's the crew. Yeah, yeah. Part, part of the crew. Some of the crew is pooping. Some of the crew is. Doing hey, yo, man, you gotta drop the logs before you go in the prison, my man. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, dude. Yeah, yes. man. Okay. I got you, bro. We, we're ready, man. We are. There's two more. This is Malachi. This is Ashton. Hey guys. This is Jesse. This is Seth. Probably nasty. It's probably the best looking my channel will have ever been. It looks like a WWF wrestling. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I would be. Back it up for me, Daddy. <laughs> Man, I feel bad for whoever's on the floor with us. I do. Oh boy. They already know we're here, so. 308. It's like we, I never expected to have an audience when we're walking into our room for the first time. Isn't that just odd? Look at Charles. I know. What is going on? Here? Yo, look at this luxury. Oh, is ghost in here already? Shoot, son. Look at the digs. I roll this. Right. Shoot. How am I just hanging out here tonight? <laughs> A few hours later, obviously, because it's dark outside now. It's time. It's time. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is time. Right up. What? <laughs> we are right outside the prison walls. <laughs> it's just dying from that burp. Let's go get locked in a prison. Loaded to the keys. Got the crew. We cannot film the tour, guys. Okay. So this will go off once I see other people that aren't our people. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get ready to get locked down into a prison. Been waiting a long Big time prison. to experience this kind of thing. A real long yes. time. We found slugs. Look at these slugs. What? Those are so cool. Yeah, they are. I've never seen any that big. Wow. Seriously, me Charles neither. Charles in charge. Weird. Ooh, we got fat. <laughs> Seriously, that's crazy. Eat it. <laughs> Keep the light on me real quick. All right, so we are in the prison. In this building right there, Seth and I are starting in there by ourselves. <laughs> death row, baby. Death row. Death row. row. Not death row records, not Tupac. No. Snoop Dogg. Death row for inmates. So we're gonna go again and go down. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's gonna get litty, bruh. 
This is at said 3B. Um, at said was administrative segregation. So this is where they housed mentally and criminally insane in the very early days, and then it became segregation punishment after they moved those guys out. You can see the difference in the size of these cells in comparison to what you were going to see upstairs. And actually, when these cells were first used, and you can see this in here's original, like this would have been a wall. You know, you see this see through. Oh, yeah. They wired her well. There was a wall here, so this was one cell. Oh, this was oh my cell. gosh, wow. All of us, all of us will walk around in this facility anywhere in the dark alone. I would never come to this location by myself. Pretty terrifying stuff on the two, little tour we just had. So, Jesse, me, we're gonna start start this with a bang first and then we'll uh, have Brucey join us in a bit. Yes. Let's do it. Let's go explore death row. Just imagine if this was just sitting here and we found a way to oh just get in. Gosh. I'm like, dude, are we gonna go explore this prison right now? Right. Wow, all Power the controls. Switches. Silent in here. Like a kitchen or something in here? Locking in wow. the death row prisoners. My goodness. And then they could walk on the outside here. Let's enter where people were held before they were sent to their death. State of Missouri, in the interdisciplinary progress notes, managing sleep disturbance, self-care, monitor sleep patterns, reduce stimulation, provide structured schedule of actives, which includes quiet time, relaxation time, monitor activity level, increase their identification and something for fatigue, avoid caffeine or other stimulants, provide cues and methods to promote sleep and re relaxation exercises. That's legit for somebody. Inmate education, hay fever. I'm well, sorry to say, everybody, but I'm officially in prison now, so you probably won't get videos as often as you think. This is where the security guards would have walked down with the inmates here. You can see they have where they could hand things through, and then there you go, right into a cell, and they're set. Seth and I have been wanting to get into a prison to just explore and be in for years. Oh my God. Years. So I just want to shout out Jones Paranormal Research, JPR, for giving us the opportunity to gang up again, the Olney Brothers and CCPI to come back together to do this. I want to take the opportunity to suggest that you check out our second channel, on my second channel, CCPI TV. There's going to be even more footage of this prison presented in an even more documentarian kind of way. So make sure that you check that out as well. I'll link uh, where you can check that out up here to the left. Should we uh, head downstairs? Do you want to do it? You want to do save by ourselves? Yeah, yeah. Let's, okay. Absolutely. Right. We're going to give it a go for sure. We'll be walking to a part that pretty much barely any of the uh, tour guides will walk by themselves. Gotta say, it's a little bit different than the Friar Tuck Inn. A little bit. <laughs> now, just just imagine. This, this is your life. This is your livelihood. Look inside this cell. This is your your livelihood. This is this is your outside window. This is what you see when you sleep at night. On the bottom level of a gigantic prison. I gotta say, I'm much more content being on the outside of these bars. And it's just so crazy, like if you look up here, every window you look out is barred up. You're literally locked in here. Look at this staircase. Oh, it's terrible. Oh my goodness. 
You're done with your picture. I got something to tell you. Oh boy. So look to your right. See the light that's still up there? Yeah. And you made it, where I'm standing from, it looks like a mouth and a nose. And it looked like there's a person just standing there with a light under their face, like oh, under their chin, for... looking at us. I about lost my, my turds. Mm, like legit, almost lost my turds. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bro. I'm sorry, I was You good. can't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When you're in a prison, middle of the night, by yourself with your brother, you can't just fart without a warning. That I'm just sorry. made me jump like... out of my skin. <laughs> oh, Pedro, you'll enjoy that. It stinks. Oh my gosh, it stinks. Wow. Double execution. Wow. Carl Austin Hall and Bonnie Brown Hetty kidnapped six year old Bobby Greenlease, killed him, and then demanded a ransom from the family. The Greenlease family paid the ransom of $600,000, not knowing that their son was already dead. Oh. The murderers were executed on December 18th, 1953. The Kansas City Star printed the sketch on Friday, December 18th, 1953 as part of its coverage of the execution. Look at that sketch. That so is creepy. creepy. So dang creepy. And those two people were executed in the gas chamber here at MSP. Look at this. Wow. Wow, this is insane. Sweeping that jigsaw puppet riding his tricycle around the corner. Dude, seriously. Is it bats? I don't know. Why does it sound like it's getting louder? There's gotta be something on the fan or something. Well, there's a fan down here, literally right in front of oh, us. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. I don't think so. It sounds like it's coming from up there. Whatever that sound is, is creepy. So this fan is off. Goodness, you just don't get used to this, do you? Walking around and seeing these giant cells. Oh, here we go. James, James Earl this Ray. This is James Earl Ray's cell. So James Earl Ray, he assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. This is the man who killed him. But at this point, while he was in here, I don't think he had- Hadn't done yet? Hadn't done yet. He, so here we go. He was originally sent to HU3 in 66 B Hall, transferred to HU3 C Hall to this cell and then remained in this cell until 1967, then transferred back to K Hall. He escaped in a bread truck. Then later escaped in a bread truck, and then after escaping, he assassinated so, Martin Luther King. Which cell is it? Is it this I'm one? I'm thinking it's... I think it's this one. Yeah, that's my guess, because it's right by the door. After escaping this, one year later, he... Uh... Oh, okay. probably a bird, maybe a bird. We came in contact with some too. It was a bat. <laughs> oh, was it really? They said it could be in here. Oh, really? Dang, yeah, super yeah. right at Charles, right when he got down. I know. <laughs> yeah. Johnny got attacked. We got a, <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure he got it on. Really? One of us had a, <laughs> really I guess these dudes smell a little better than the rest of us. In case you can't tell, that is the moon. Oh, a boxer was housed here, apparently. Dude, that scared me so hard. Dude, I bet. I turned and I was like, oh my Holy God. Holy crap. Yeah, that's something listed. So is this his cell? Yep. What? Sonny Liston was housed here. Wow. Yep. Muhammad yeah. Ali versus Sonny Liston. Cells are a lot nicer here than over in uh, Gen Pop. Yeah, this is the oldest Oldest one. Crazy, dude. This catwalk here, and then the catwalk above that. Yeah, this is A Hall, and a tornado came through Jefferson City last year. Literally ripped the roof completely off this building, and now we're in it. We can only be on the main level here, and it's where the tornado literally destroyed it. Phone booth with the phone still in it. 1800 era cell. For nearly a hundred years, whoa, whoa, this building housed six men per cell. In the 1800s, plumbing and heat systems had not been invented, so they were provided a chamber pot for a toilet and a bucket for drinking water. No heat in the cells. Each man was provided a straw-filled mattress and likely a buffalo robe. Look at this door. 
walk over towards these stairs. Like you're literally propping up to take a dump on this bad boy. This is, this is where you live, like this is crazy. Where do these stairs take us, Charles? The dungeon. JB. Firebug. That is insane. So this is the dungeon, huh? Ugh. Holy cricket, that <laughs> My gosh, it's huge! See that? That one is hard. Seth, Charles, Jesse. Dungeons. JB. Firebug. Johnson was confined to these cells for 17 years. You, I can't, I can't even like, I can't imagine that, dude. Can't fathom it. Oh, boy. Are you serious? This homie lived out here for 17 years. The dude had to have gone blind. Yep. Seriously. Assuming this was a cell. Yeah, because there's that door latch right there. Oh, yeah. Dude, I can't imagine. Oh my gosh, I cannot imagine. If you can, like, kill, up, kill all your lights. Yeah. Do I get to, like... That it was a bass thump silence in your ears? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, you almost hear your heartbeat. This would be your life day and night. It would look and sound exactly like this. Just... Unbelievable. You would probably be able to hear the distant sounds of Hall A above you. Mm-hmm. You would think. Mm-hmm. The fact that there's old wood on this. Like, these doors, or these gates, were literally designed so you couldn't even see out of them. Seemingly. I see this other wing in there. It's just pretty much it. Yeah, this is, this, this is it. Yo, I think I just heard footsteps coming this way. Big, heavy footsteps. What? Yes. It went. This is black. Wow, oh my gosh. I thought someone was standing. Like, I'm starting to like, become mind blown by this. Dude, I keep getting grabbed and stuff. 